these are the tools required in order to open up your PS3 Slim console. Phillips number zero, Phillips number one, number two, screw bit screwdriver, Torx T8 screw bit screwdriver. You can either use micro turn precision screwdriver or small Phillips flathead screwdriver. If this is your first time opening up your PS3 Slim console, best is to use one of these markers. Uh, so that you can mark down where all the screws go. Another handy item to have is this small utility component storage box. PS3 Slim has a lot of different types of screws. Uh, so best is to use this uh, storage compartment box so that you can organize all these different types of screws in these compartments. And when you try to put your console back together, it makes the job a lot easier. Alright, let's get going. Let's open up your PS3. Step 1, flip it over. Take out all these, take out these one, two, three rubber pads and then use your small Phillips flathead screwdriver and take out these plastic one, two, three and then there is one and another warranty sticker. Peel out the sticker. Remove all these Phillips screws. Next, uh, we'll be removing the hard drive, so simply take out this clip and there is a blue Phillips screw in there, simply take it out. Next, slide this cover and take out the hard drive. Next, we'll be removing these three torque screws. Flip it over, uh, we are now able to lift up our top cover. So simply pull it, gently pull it up. Uh, there's a bit of a dust, let's clean up the dust. Next, we'll be moving the power supply. So take out these two cables. And remove the two screws. Simply pull out the power supply. Next, we'll be removing the blue rear drive. In order to remove the blue rear drive, uh, unplug this ribbon cable and the black screw. Simply lift it up, remove the power reset switchboard, remove these cables and take out the power cable and your blue air drive is separated. Uh, once again clean up this dust. Try your best to clean up uh, as much as you can. Next, let's move on. Uh, with removing the remaining components so let's remove our power reset switchboard peel off this and simply pull out the cable this comes off next uh, let's remove these uh, blu-ray drive and the power cable power supply cable so take up the blu-ray and the power cable next uh, we'll be removing the Wi-Fi antenna cables in order to do that you need to take out these two screws here so simply remove these two screws simply put it out and unplug from here so the white one first and then the black one it comes off. Next, we'll be removing our fan. Take these two screws off and peel off this sticker and move the cable. Fan comes off. Next, um, we need to remove the board from the bottom tray in order to do that we need to remove these two silver screws and three black Phillips screws so one 
2 and 3. So remove all these screws. Next we are now able to lift up our uh, motherboard and from the bottom tray. Simply no need to remove this, simply slot it out. And bottom tray. It's a motherboard assembly. Next we need to remove this metal plate and this plate. Simply flip it over. So we'll be removing all these screws. One, two, it's marked here actually. Two, three, four, five screws. And these two metal bars and four screws here. So take off all these screws. Simply lift this up. So this plate comes off. Flip it over and we're now able to simply pull it out. So that's our PSD Slim motherboard. Thanks for watching the videos. Please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.